spend every weekend at car shows doing this. Rick, it is uh, an honor to meet you and to uh, get to interview for Speed and Shine. Well, great. I'm happy to be here. Finally met. Yes, yes. Um, your designs are incredible. I've been a big fan a long time. The Black Pearl, Illusion. Um, all, your, all your work always has movement in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you, for me, uh, early on when I st first started customizing cars, what I would do is I would take like a 36 Ford Roadster, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which were rare even in the early 90s, uh, and stand back and look how I could enhance what Ford gave us. You know, maybe stretch that rear fender, maybe lean the grill back, maybe even remove the grill and use a Packard grill, the vertical grill, mm -hmm. you know, with real Art Deco lines on the top or shape. And... Uh, that's what I did, and uh, the skirts, you know, where you got a fast fender, the top of the fender, and you got a round skirt, like on some of the Auburns, you know, I would, I was the one who kind of, doing the 30s cars, opened up and followed that top of that fender line. Kind of, uh, uh, Delahaye does. Uh, yeah, yeah. more or less. Uh, I, uh, however, I wasn't aware of Delahaye back then. Mm -hmm. I had seen a Delahaye at a Barrett-Jackson auction back when... Tom Barrett was still alive in the 80s. Uh, regardless, I love French styling, and what I call my creations are uh, French styling with an American attitude. You know, uh, you know, uh, elegant, yep. stylish, but it has to have an attitude. It has to, you know, it's got to grab you. It's got to pull you in, whether it's the color. And when you get up close and you look inside, you look at the jewelry on the dashboard. Mm -hmm. You know, right. is what I call it. Or on the exterior, so yeah. Uh, the last eight or ten cars have been coach built, okay. scratch built, just like they did the Duesenbergs. You know, they right. do the chassis, the firewall, the mm -hmm. four wheels, the drivetrain, and send it off. Mm -hmm. And some body shop or coach builder, I should say, would build the body. Wow. So uh, yeah, I've been real fortunate. I've got 
you know, I, I, I've got somewhat of a good eye, I think, oh, uh, yeah. but I've got the best guys that work for me. And uh, the difference. Or, uh, they can make team. your vision come through. They right? could bring it to life, and I'm there every step of the way. I mean, if it, something's going in a direction that I'm not liking, it's going out the window. And I've never had a car. That was going to be my question. Have you ever had one where you got done and said, nope? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say never, but I thought of this <laughs> Toronado. <laughs> I did this Toronado, and uh, my wife loved it. But uh, people were, billet wheels were starting to be used, and people would say, hey, when are you going to do a car with billet wheels? Mm. Billet wheels were that big. You know, back when Colorado Custom started on right. the scene in Boyd. And uh, I did this Toronado. It was real radical. Uh, <laughs> And, but I, I didn't care for it at the end. I did, didn't, didn't have it. Uh, as far as the other cars, man, I loved them all. I still do. People ask, what's your favorite? And I never had a favorite. It was always the next, the one I'm working on is my right. favorite. Right. Uh, but now I would say the Aquarius to the Illusion mm -hmm. are my favorite. I hope to see them in person someday. They're at the LeMay Museum till January okay. in Tacoma, Washington. I'll be up there next week. Oh. And uh, they're on loan from the Peterson Museum. Okay. It's called Reclaimed Rust. All right. You could see it, it's James Hetfield collection. Right, right. Uh, James and I were partners for a number of years. Black Pearl, right? The Black Pearl, the Aquarius was yep. his. Uh, the Voodoo Priest, the 37 Zephyr was his. Uh, the skyscraper, the 53 Skylark, yeah. that was his, so yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate finally getting to meet right. you. Right, well, you know, vice, we're a, vice versa. <laughs> we're a small show, so we don't have that budget to fly and, and go visit you. Yeah. So I, I always wait till you come close. When I saw you were coming here, I was like, hey, I'm always at Auburn. So. Yeah, well, I'm here. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mike. Have a good okay. day. Okay, take yep. care. Yep.